Alright, what's up YouTube? I know it's been a while. I am back and I came here to give you all this build and some SIGs. I know y'all probably asking where I've been at. Well, I've been remodeling the house so I've been kind of busy and then when I get on, I don't really have too many people to play with. I don't really see nobody on, so it is what it is. So let's get right into this. This is my build, right? You're going to look at it. This is my att attributes. 97 speed with ball, 97 acceleration, 80 driving dunk, which is in the... The important thing is right here, make sure you make it with a 65 max vert. Because if you make it with a 65 max vert, what it's going to do to you is it's going to allow you to get some of the better dunk animations even though you only got an 80 dunk. And you see I still got my 99 three ball so I got blinders hall of fame. I'm telling you, if you know how to dribble, this is all you need. I am 5'11", weight 152, wingspan 6 foot, okay? Now, basically... I kind of glitched to make this build as a glitch build on YouTube if you, have, if you want to see how to get it. If not, it's whatever. Let's get right into the main point, which is going to be come over here to my player, animations, and this is the most important thing. With this, same your size up, you're going to have to have Kyrie Irving dribble style because it gives you the best speed boost animations with it. Okay? And right now, I've been using Kevin Durant, size of Escape, messing around with that, but either one is good still. This one is pretty good. But what this Kyrie Irving uh, central size up gives you is the ability to do the SETI slide again, which is really good because it's faster than all the other ones, okay? So you're going to want to put this on. And you'll see in this gameplay, you're going to see that. So if you don't believe me, just stick around. You'll find out. You will see I'm playing with complete randoms. I just wanted to show you all these SIGs. That's what I'm using moving. Step back, Kawhi Leonard. It lets you do that L2 quick stop stuff that uh, most people don't know about still. But I'm going to get with y'all on that soon, but let's get right into this gameplay. I saw Rip, you're gonna see I'm on my 5'11 play shot that I just showed y'all, 95 overall, and going against a dude with a good win percent. But that doesn't really mean much. They could be playing rooftop, whatever. Some people play team ball, which there's no hate. Everybody got their own play style. Some people like to, to use screens and screens only. Some people like to ISO. Some people don't even dribble. They just wrap each other and pass all the time. And on next gen, School ball next gen, you can do a little bit of everything. But as you're gonna see right here, he's got some defense, but I should have shot that. But he got me the first play of the game, I'm not gonna lie. He clamped me up for the first play, but I guarantee you one thing. You will not be able to clamp me up every play of the game. It's never happened a day since I've been playing 2K. You might get me here or there, or I might miss. I just might miss, and that's how we lose. I go like three for seven. That's the only way we really gonna lose. We're not gonna lose by you by actually getting clamped, unless I'm playing with complete randoms and I'm not in my bag. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm playing with AI on my team. He quit like right when he seen what was going on, I guess, what he seen me, my teammate was. Cause right there, you seen I had to just go ahead and let it fly. Cause it's, all right, why not? I'm on 5'11", I'm gonna get the mismatch expert. And it's like, am I just keep left righting when I'm low energy or should I shoot a lightly contested? I'd rather have shot a lightly contested. But yeah, as you see the six, it's kind of like D-Rose, but look at the say side. Boom, made him jump. Green bean. But a full white, my bad. But you see what I'm talking about. Like, it's kind of like D-Rose. Like, the the crossover is just as fast like D-Rose. And the crab from uh, from Kevin Durant escape is actually really fast. And you can actually use it as a substitute for D- Not D-Rose, but uh, Trey Young escape. You can really use it as a, you know alternate if you're tired of using the same six which i am i'm not saying this is better but the crab it this is still comp you can still look at that step back and look at the speed boost out of the step back you see i hit him with this boom got him chasing me steady slide boom green bean as you see the steady slide the initial thing isn't as fast but it's a stronger move as what y'all has said like the steady slide with Kyrie irving is really it'll make him slide big time you've seen he slid for probably about a foot and a half Oh man, I've been having so much fun on next gen. Like the times I do get to play, I'll hop on, play it for like 30 minutes, maybe an hour or a little bit longer lately because I've been hella busy. But the times I have played it, it's such a better game. Like it just makes me happy to when I shoot, I see suns out, guns out, or I see whatever green light animation I have on. Cause it happens like every single time you shoot, you actually get an animation. So and look at the graphics over here. The graphics is crazy. And right now this recording isn't even the best, but watch this move right here. I'm gonna get him on. Oh. Pull back, boom, I'm going left, say slot right, pull back, get right into momentum action, got him right here, green bean, you see that? I just did the Kawhi Leonard quick stop, 
and in my opinion and a lot of other people's opinions yeah the current gen at first was more popular but you can't tell me that it's more popular because i get on next gen as a way bigger city and the games are completely filled up you gotta wait for games so it's not that people are just scared to admit that they're playing next gen like people are scared to put it out there that they're really playing next gen like that instead of playing current gen which was the more popular thing to do at the beginning of the year just because all the little kids don't have playstation 5s so but i'm gonna tell you right now most people are really actually on this as you see i had the shot but i had my icons up trying to get somebody else involved since i've already have 12 points but like i was saying for me i like this game better too just because better build system simple as that you can make like a BP build and still get Hall of Fame playmaking. And you'll be able to dunk and you'll be able to shoot. It may not be as fast as the 5'8 point guard, stuff like that. But you'll still be able to get the job done and play to your play style. Now people complain about these builds being able to dunk. This is just that. Every build's a demigod. Well, not really. If you make them a little taller, you're not going to be in competitive games with all these other people. Like when you go to stage and they're just getting threes left and right on you. That's where the skill gap comes. Let them get the twos, get the threes. That's where the skill gap is in this game, is being the, having the ability to get the threes consistently. Now, you could play complete size on somebody, but they're ice one with a 5'8", that's going to be tough. They're going to get some threes off on you. But that's the skill gap in this game compared to current gen where everybody's on a play shot. <clears throat> this game is fun. Most people who can still dunk, they don't even go dunk, okay? It is what it is. They just like to have the dunk rating so they can do it if they want to, like for fun. You know, run, run in and wham I'm out. Like for me, this build, I got an 80 dunk. But I don't think you even see me dunk one time. Alright, well, let me know if y'all want some more next gen con content. Because guess what? I'm going to be uploading con next gen content anyway. I don't really care. This game is better, in my opinion. So that's what I'm going to play. So let me know if y'all going to rock with me down in the comments below. I appreciate it. Till the next video, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Nice. Appreciate y'all for coming through and watching the video, even though I haven't uploaded in about a month, it feels like. But we're back now, so stay tuned for more videos until the next time.